The oyster industry in South Australia started in this bay in about 1870. Regrettably, by 1920, it was all but fished out, and so the commercial fishery was closed. Oyster reefs in this region are completely extinct. A lot of the reef substrate was removed to produce lime. It's been a terrific place to fish over the years, and the stocks have, I must admit, they're not as easy to catch as they used to be. <laughs> um, I suppose the poor old fish haven't had much of a chance. The Nature Conservancy is a global conservation organisation that works to conserve the lands and waters on which all life depends. The Nature Conservancy is working with local, state and federal government uh, to build a 20 hectare oyster reef just off the coast of Ardrossan. So once built, it's going to be the largest restored native oyster reef in Australia. Oyster reefs attract a whole lot of other species. It's a symbiotic relationship that exists between oysters and the rest of the food chain. With the help of the NAB Foundation grant and other supporting organisations, we're able to expand this four hectare reef into a 20 hectare reef. A 20 hectare reef, like the one that we're building, can add an additional 500 tonnes of extra fish to the coastal environment every year. So the way that we restore oyster reefs is we have to put out reef base, which is from local sourced limestone, and the hatchery produces baby spat, and they're settled onto recycled oyster shell that's diverted from landfill, and then we place the baby oysters out onto the reef and place it amongst the limestone rocks. Ardrossan and, and the coastal communities are heavily reliant on recreational fishing. That's where our tourism comes from. That's the lifeblood of our economy. The local community is really excited about how they can be involved and they want to volunteer and you know, what can they do to contribute. They understand the importance of the project and really want to get behind it. So it's created a great buzz. We're really excited to have the support of the NAB Foundation grant to bring back more oyster reefs. That will bring back more fish into the Gulf to continue to keep these coastal communities thriving and bring back a threatened habitat from the brink of extinction.